update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. This is the Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. market update. And we're looking on this 25th of January, Tuesday, at the Dow down 642 points at 33,716. What I'd say to my subscribers to my opening call, we're remaining short. We did take a little bit of a profit yesterday from our position on the Dow, uh, but we're remaining short. And one of the reasons is <clears throat> that within the context of this particular candle called the Chapman Wave Roman candle, this green candle with a long wick and a tiny little wick at the top, long body, uh, the body itself is a third of the entire length of the, of the candle. If there was a close above yesterday's high, especially above the 200 period moving average of 34,528 within the next two sessions without taking out the middle of that, that green bar, that would be very important. But uh, the, I, I spent at least a week and a half saying what stocks would I want to buy if there was one of those V-shaped turnarounds that I was talking about in my show yesterday. And I couldn't find anything that I felt comfortable with. And I said, Dad, there's something wrong with that picture. So now I said to subscribers that if the Dow goes halfway into this long wick, below 33,750, and we're at 33,640. You've got to be really careful because the, the history of this particular candle is that the bottom of the wick could be tested. That's 33,150. So this is a really important session. You've got the S&P. Let me run through this quickly. The S&P is down 112 at 4297. Same thing with the wick there. We're now actually right at 4297. Another seven points lower, and that says be careful for the downside. Look at the QQQ in the X100 trading vehicle, um, holding a little bit better in terms of the candle, but still down 10 and 343, down 2.8%, same as all the others. Look at the IWM, the Russell 2000, had a really good candle yesterday. But today it's giving back a chunk at 195 down six. Now gold is finally having a move to the upside. I'm wondering what happened to gold, but it can't sustain that move. But it is a nice move. It's at 1844. It went all the way to 1853. The TLT is also very important here. The TLT bonds is only up one at 143.46. Wow, this is an important session. When I get back from my Tiger Cafe Christmas hour, we'll have to discuss a lot of things. Hope to see you there. Otherwise, same time, same station tomorrow. Check out.